the universe is under no obligation to make sense to you. But that's never stopped humans from exploring this tremendous structure. Throughout humanity's quest to perceive the universe, one question has always perplexed us. What lies beyond the universe? This is the question we'll discuss in today's video, as we explore the possibilities that revolve around this enigma. This is a video you don't want to miss out on. The universe is so vast that even light finds itself to be lost in its daunting depths. Well, before we get into the possibilities surrounding what's beyond the universe, think about this. For an entity to exist beyond something, there must be a boundary. Hypothetically, there is a probability of the existence of unknown structures that lie beyond the visible boundaries of space. Such unknown structures are called extra metagalactic objects, but it's unfortunately impossible to study them today with the existing scientific methods. But there are still some astronomical bodies that are seen on the edge of the visible universe, and they appear to be moving in ways that are different from our calculations obtained through our data. There have been a plethora of instances where anomalous movements have unfolded. These might turn out to be solid evidence that leads to the presence of massive structures beyond the so-called boundaries. There are a whole lot of ideas that circulate about what lies beyond that boundary. One of them is that time and space do not exist beyond the boundaries of the universe. Basically, the idea is that physical laws that apply here do not apply there. The universe is expanding at an increasing rate, which means one thing. The boundary is moving further away from us. Technically, a radio signal sent from Earth would not be able to reach the edge, even if it traveled for an infinite amount of time. So, if the universe is constantly expanding, don't you want to know what it's expanding into? If you were to take a peek at the edge of the universe, what would you see? Before we step into the universe that lies beyond our sight, there's a question that holds great prominence. What exactly is the observable universe? The observable universe includes all the space that can be observed and could be measured based on the light that reaches us. Our universe is approximately 13.772 billion years old, which means that all that is further away than light can surprisingly travel since the beginning of our universe. It hasn't had enough time in order to reach us, and thus it remains unobservable. Well, what remains an issue does not have anything to do with our advancement in our technology but rather with the limitation in the speed of light. You can compare this to why you can't read a letter that hasn't arrived yet. A theory suggests that beyond our universe might exist an infinite empty void. This is something we just can't comprehend. Well, vast black space is nothing, as it's a vast empty space, and therefore there exists something. Nothing is simply the absence of everything. But if you ask the ancient Greek philosopher Parmenides, nothing can exist. To speak of a thing, one has to speak of a thing that exists. The question is, could an infinite space exist at all? Everything in existence is finite, and this means that even things that may seemingly be infinite are just close to infinity, but not truly infinite. There's another interesting perspective on what's beyond our universe – black holes. Black holes are stellar objects that are formed when dying stars collapse under their own mass, leading to the formation of an incredibly dense singularity. One of the most unique aspects of black holes is that they bend space-time to extremes so that nothing can escape their gravitational pull beyond what's defined as the event horizon. You might be surprised that not even light can escape a black hole's gravitational pull. It's always been a great mystery regarding what lies behind the event horizon of a black hole. And that's just like the border of our universe. Imagine if our universe is situated inside one such black hole. With our universe pushing its edge with the passing of each second that even light can't reach it, have you ever imagined if it's the same force that keeps light from escaping a black hole? Theoretical physicist Nikodem Poplowski, who holds his title as the next possible Albert Einstein, given by Forbes magazine in 2015, proposed another unique theory. This theory was that every black hole could be a doorway to another universe, and that the universe was formed within a black hole, which itself exists in a larger universe. His theory describes that the universe came from a fraction of a much bigger universe, which got sucked into a black hole 
and compressed until it reached an unfathomable dense state. This core fragment, affected by gravitational spin, then exploded violently, forming our current universe as we know it. His theory also adds that this core might turn out to be the source of our Big Bang. A plethora of theories revolving around black holes consider the event horizon as a point at which space-time bends faster than light, which is the reason why light can't escape. Something similar happens with our own universe, as its expansion is much faster than the speed of light. Another theory gives us the perspective that the unobservable part of the universe contains more universe. More universe refers to more stars, galaxies, and clusters in an infinitely expanding space. This theory sounds quite similar to the multiverse theory, as if space actually expands infinitely, there must also be infinite repetitions of our own universe, and yes, even that of our own planet Earth. According to a plethora of cosmological models, the spread of galaxy clusters in our universe is primarily because of the expansion and inflation that is random. However, it was Alexander Kishlinsky, an astronomer and cosmologist working at NASA Goddard Space Flight Center, who claimed that he had found a certain pattern that showed that certain parts of the universe are being pulled much stronger than others. This pull must originate from a strong force that's outside our observable universe. Initially, it was assumed that this unobservable outside force was a black hole. But that assumption did not prove to last long. As if this was a black hole, the speed of the clusters would have accelerated exponentially the closer they got to the black hole. But here, the speed has turned out to be constant, and thus, a black hole being the cause for this gravitational pull is unlikely. According to another scientist, Dr. Richard Holman, this outside force might be exerted by another universe that lies outside our vicinity. Though these claims are being disputed, they undoubtedly provide an interesting theory about something that lurks outside our universe and also has a strong influence on the movement of its expansion. This is indeed one of the most popular theories regarding the universe, and this one is nothing but a collection of countless universes that float around in bubbles close to each other, with each universe consisting of an alternate reality. The multiverse theorem describes the universes to be floating around in an empty space, with each of them being disconnected from each other. There are people who speculate that one could cross into another reality with the help of either a wormhole or a black hole. Since the universe expands faster than even light can travel, the most probable chance is that humanity will most likely never be able to reach or see the mysterious border that ignites our curiosity. This might remain a great mystery, even after humanity has perished. With the current expansion, the passing of time and the advancement of technology, newer galaxies and stars are revealed as their light starts to reach us. But these newly found stars and galaxies will become dimmer due to redshift as light has to travel far longer. As time passes, the furthest stars and galaxies will turn invisible. What lies beyond the universe is indeed a prominent question. The prominent question opens into several perspectives, but in the end, we're simply left with both speculations and theories about what lies beyond our universe. Which one of these theories did you find to be the most realistic? What do you think? Is there something beyond the universe and a boundary that separates us from mysteries? If you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so that we can entertain you with more new videos from the cosmos.